It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Track Brewing Company. I'm a massive, massive fan of their beer. This is a double IPA called Lost in Motion. It's a 440 milliliter can, 8% ABV. Look at this one. I've been drinking Track beers now for probably on and off three years. And I've never had a bad beer. I've never had anything resembling a bad beer. It's almost, it's always been like a, a top, top quality brewery for me. So I'm excited for this one. It's been brewed with Idaho 7, which is the mash hop, Citra, Incognito, Spectrum and T90. Here we go. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the can opening. Oh, beer in the, there's my glass. Um, beer in the glass. Get that last bit of sediment in if we do have any. Oh, did you see that? Have a look at the beer now, that last inch of sediment from the can is going to change the beer. Have a look at the bottom of the glass there where you've got that relative normality of the haze. And then have a look at the top where we added that last bit of beer. That looks incredible. Absolutely incredible. A little bit of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Lots of haze. Looks very good. I mean, in terms of colour, you probably see very hazy but straw coloured, very light amber if you wanted to go down that route. But it looks very good. Um, before I get into the beer, of course, I'd like to give you the price. Um, this was purchased, I bought it in my bottle shop, my local bottle shop in Panath. Um, track lost in motion, £6.35 a can. £6.35 for a double IPA. Some people might go, oh, you know, that's that's pub prices. But I can guarantee you, if you were to buy a pint of this in the pub, it'd be a little bit more than £6.35. Let's get the aroma then. Oh, it smells fantastic. It smells absolutely fantastic. Pineapple, passion fruit, mango, grapefruit. So I'm reviewing this beer the day after the long Easter bank holiday weekend. And I did a lot. We went out to the pub on Good Friday, Went to another pub on Good Friday. We had a big old drink on Good Friday. Me, the wife, and my family. Um, I, I mentioned it in a in a uh, a little short that um, recently lost my grandfather. Lovely, lovely bloke, bloke. But my father and the rest of my family, we wanted to go out to celebrate his life. Um, the funeral is going to be about three to four weeks away, but we wanted to go out and have a damn good drink and we did that I was out by one o'clock I was around the train station with the wife and the kids bought the kids a donut bought them meals they enjoyed it they're teenagers now the kids you know so we went to Craft Republic at one o'clock and then we met my family then in a pub at three o'clock in the afternoon and I can bear one of those situations you know um, you're barely remembering the train ride home but um, I'm saying that because just had a fantastic kind of weekend, really, of um, of of of, of celebrate. We wanted to celebrate his life. Um, that's the reason why we didn't do the Stone Crow on, on that week. But what I'm trying to get at here is it's a long weekend. Easter is a long weekend, and we went out for the day with the kids on the Saturday. Sunday we spent all day cooking. We did a roast lamb joint for the for the kids. We did all the dippy eggs and all that kind of stuff. Even though they're teenagers, they're still loving it. 
And then yesterday was a bit of a kind of a football day, a bit of a bit of a you know. Um, I was watching all the football, all the championship scores go through. I watched two games of football, walked the dog, that sort of thing. I'll get to the beer in a moment, but the reason why I mention all of this is because it's a long weekend. You're drinking kind of like. I drank a lot of vice beer, I drank a lot of normal beer. And to get back to this, because I've had four days off, I've had four days off the reviews, to get back to something like this, it excites me. It really does excite me. As much as I love Easter, I'm happy again now that we're on the other side of Easter and I'm drinking great blooming beer again. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a beer. Lovely tropical flavours coming through. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. The hops are just singing, absolutely singing from the sheet here with this beer. A little bit of carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. The drinkability, the drinkability of the beer is absolutely terrific. Fantastic drinkability. Really refreshing, but with a a slight kind of creaminess coming through, a nice, slightly wheaty, oaty creaminess on the mouthfeel. Oh, it's so good. It's so, so good. So good. There's, in terms of bitterness, there's not so much of there's not so much bitterness on the back end on this one. It's a double IPA, not a West Coast double IPA, but I'd say more of an East Coast double IPA, more kind of the Alchemist heady topper like. But it's got a big of a it's got a big pineapple flavour coming through. They must have used a certain hop that's, that's really produced a pineapple flavour to come through in this beer. You got a little bit of that malt to begin with, a little bit of sweetness over there. Tiny bit of bitterness over there. It's a lovely balanced beer. Um, one of the the brewers probably don't say a lot. Oh, they 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 do actually. Continuing our journey into boosting aromatics through the use of mash hopping and releasing bound seals within beer, we have combined our layering of mash hops with a reduction of dry hop material to allow the aromatics from the feels to present more boastfully. Um, it, I, I mean, it's priced. I, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna say something on this. Um, contains barley, oats and wheat. I love this beer. I love this brewery, but um, the way they've constructed the wording on the back of the can, and it's the first time I've read it, I've not, I've not read it before, it troubles me a little bit, only a little bit, because I'm of a working class, I am working class, I'm working right now, aren't I? Um, I've worked hard all my life, um, never really did magnificent in school. I'd become a carpenter, qualified as a carpenter, did carpentry for a number of years, made a living for a number of years. But I wasn't, I wasn't overly illiterate with fancy words. And I wasn't magnificent at math. So, you know, life was, life's been a bit of a kind of a struggle, you know, but I pushed. I worked hard to, to, Build my little pile here, my little pile of a terrace house. Um, 
the, the description on the back of the can feels a little bit inclusive. It feels a little like you have to know about beer to understand the back of this can. And okay, I've got no problem paying £6.35 for this can. I've got no problem whatsoever. I knew it was going to be a good IPA. Um, I've got, I've tried track beers before. I knew it was going to be good. I knew they've got a great <laughs> track record. Um, but I didn't like reading that, to be honest. It felt like you had to be a brewer to enjoy their beer. It felt like a little bit of an inclusive club. It didn't feel like, it didn't feel like the, the the average working man could pick up this can of beer and understand what the brewer's saying on the back of it. And um, I know there's a lot of you out there that understand beer and they understand brewing and where to put the hops and the mash and so forth, but um, there's an awful lot more people who don't. There's an awful lot more people who don't. I don't know, what am I trying to say here? I'm just going to end it there. I, I didn't really like the description on that one. It felt like you have to know what you're talking about to drink their beer. Um, rating. Of course, I'm not going to take any marks off for a description on the back of a can, for goodness sake. But I'm just letting you guys know that I felt slightly uncomfortable when I read that. I was like, oh, I don't like clubs. I don't like inclusive clubs. I don't like... You know, I don't like that. I, I, I never have. That's why I'm not a, I'm not part of the Guild of Beer Writers. I'm not part of that. I don't like clicky clubs. Rating for this beer. It's still terrific. It's still fantastically tasty. It's a 9 out of 10. Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.